Make some noise, Columbus! Ah. If you're feeling me right now, if you're feeling me right now, and if you got a dream, whether it's to rule the world or if it's just to wake up in the morning, I need one finger in the air right now. One finger in the air right now. I don't care what your dream is. I don't care what your dream is. You know why I put one finger in the air? Because you're pointing to the person that's going to make that dream come to pass. You know what I'm saying? Now I need y'all to put two fingers in the air. Two fingers in the air. One second, oh, two fingers in the air. Because what that is, that's the journey, baby. That's the journey. The journey outweighs the destination. Two is greater than one. God is more concerned with how you're going to get there because you're going to get there. Just be concerned with how you get there. So one time in the air for your dreams. Oh, shot, let's go. I would rather um, update it, I guess. And I get that, you know, certain songs speak to people at, you know, different points in your life. So, you know, that's why you go through stuff so that you can, you can you know, God can pull you out of it so in turn, God can use you to pull somebody else out of it. I get that, but I'm <laughs> being a little selfish. And I'll be like, dang, I don't even think like that anymore. The situation with my little sister is totally different. I don't even think about the girls that I used to get hair from. <laughs> That was so, that's so the old I run. I'm not even there anymore. More exciting to see it under the presence of your highness. Hey, knowing that he can never lie, and our enemies gotta take a dive because the fight is rigged. Right hand over my heart, pledge allegiance. Left hand holding my weapon, ready to lead. You want me to the front and the back? We the lead. You invisible gorillas in my villa like I'm sick. Okay. I pour out to the sip. To what? I pour out to the sip. Tell him. I pour out to the sip. Hold on Showcase is basically this event that's held every year in Columbus. Um, this year was the second anniversary. It's held by Polar Entertainment, which is the label uh, that Jay Rawls started, Jay Rawls' legendary underground producer. And uh, his head AR, DJ O Sharp, is my DJ, um, a really good friend of mine, almost like a like a like a big brother. And um, you know, both years they invited me out to do the show um, and kind of bring, you know, whatever it is that they feel like I bring to, to the table. So, you know, it's really important to me because those, those guys do a lot for me. They, they helped out a lot, dropped a lot of wisdom, a lot of jewels. Um, and as a result, you know, one of the many people that are responsible for Kairos being the way that it was and it coming out the way that it is. So that's, that's basically what the Polar Showcase is. I don't care what that dream is. I don't care if that dream is just to wake up in the morning. I don't care if that dream is to run the world and, 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 and become the, the 80 whatever president of the United States, whatever the math is. If that dream is important to you, right now you're important to the source that'll help you achieve and reach that dream and help mold and shape and develop that dream, you feel me? Yeah? So, uh, one time in the air for your dreams and two times for everything in between and that's everything that you need i put my hands to it and do it because i believe go make some noise people y'all ready to have a good time hey my man on yeah you ready this is like last year the polar showcase for me was almost like a coming out party um, where a lot of people um, in Columbus were, were introduced to, to my music for the first time. And it was so, God showed up in such an emotional way where it was like, it was, it was so dramatic, yo. Like, it was raining. Um, you know, I had, the, I had the, the big shadow cast on the brick wall and people were crying. I was crying, you know, my church family, some, some people that I go to church with, they came, they huddled over me and they prayed after the show. The enemy was trying to do all this extra demonic stuff and distract me and all this crazy stuff, right? But it was, by, it was far and away the best show that I've done. Um, the Holy Spirit really took over and it really felt like I stepped out of my body and I was watching myself perform, I kid you not, it was so dope. So, 
my expectation and those around me who were at the show and who saw the footage, they're like, yo, you gotta do that again. So my expectation is like, what do you do greater than that? I mean, he's God, so obviously he can do greater than that. He can do whatever he wants. So it was like, you know, how do you top your, I, I, really my competition was myself. It was like, how do you top that? But really what it should have been was, am I open enough because I'm dealing with all this other stuff? Am I just open and ready for God to use me in whatever way um, he saw fit to I use trailing. me? I couldn't tell you the lessons. I was skipping classes. Ditching school and still getting taught. I earned my masters. Should be diseased on my deathbed. But I passed it. I never got my truth from the pastor. They was lying to him. I was 13 getting hand jobs in the choir room. My homeboy got shot. He's in the ER. I had his girl in his back seat getting her knees raw. I couldn't visit my man. One of my nuts first. Plus this loving burden and thinking back, the stuff hurts. Wonder what I've been on. I made my bed, lied in it, and couldn't get a decent rest. I close my eyes and see the stress. See my issues, see my pride, insecurities. See my mess, I blame my failures on. But those were there before we even met. Thought I was living. That life will lead to death. 45 pointed in my chest. Couldn't squeeze a breath. Joke is easy, burn is light. Believe I need to rest. Hey, the glory. Lord, I give it to you. Hey. 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 Let's go. The glory. Lord, I give it to you. Rest in peace, Macho Man. You don't know what I'm wrestling with. What were you dealing with before the show? Um, I was dealing with a lot. Um, Kairos is not a concept that I have mastered. It's merely a concept that God gave me, introduced me to, that I believed in, and that I have made several attempts to apply uh, to my personal life. And more often than not, I fail in those attempts to really grasp the moment and take advantage of it. Um, it's one of those instances where honestly, what I was dealing with was like, we, we come up in a society that's very works-based. What we do, um, we work basically to be accepted. You know, if you, if you do this, then you'll get this. You know, your worth is found in your work. So. You know, I'm gonna talk to Armand because Armand is a really good carpenter and he can put shelves together really, really well. So I'm gonna go see him to make, um, you know, a bookshelf for me. And I take pride in my work and this is what affirms me, is my work in creating this box or creating this shelf for people and they're happy. And God has really reintroduced and remolded and he, he's been begging me to accept this concept of like, look, I've already done all the work just chill and rest in that. There's nothing that you can do to earn my respect, to earn my love, to earn my trust, um, to earn your keep. You can't do it. That was the whole point of Jesus. Jesus is the bridge. He did it so that we don't have to do it. And now I'm like, you know, I have to put my hands on something to kind of show my worth. And, um, it's hard to it's hard to minister. That's why I always say you should always pray. Those who pour into you, whether you know them or not, pray for them because you know the the weight that comes with you know we have to minister. And I love making music and I love creating, but it's a responsibility. It's work. It's work coming up with a concept, creating the right songs that will connect with the audience, staying true to yourself. Because it's really easy to you know. Um, teeter on both sides of the fence and pretty much do what you want to do um, because you know that that's going to generate the most sales or the most um, the most attention you know what I'm saying like ministry can be really really selfish and it's a really thin line it's very easy to be selfish and to use your gift for your own personal gain so me not wanting to do that but then me being wrapped up in man I'm not good enough I'm not I'm not you know, I'm not strong enough, I keep failing, I keep doing this, like, and God is just like, yo, 
there's you win when you have nothing to lose that's when you win and so trying to understand that concept and trying to live it and just accept it and just believe it and be cool with that and not doing any work after that has been a really difficult concept for me to grasp so in turn all I keep looking at is what I'm doing wrong, what I haven't done, the mistakes that I've made, the failures that I've had, the people that I've let down. I'm not a good enough. I'm not good enough in this area. I'm not good enough in that area. And you have to push all that to the side and you got to rap and you still got to minister what God has given you. So that's what I was dealing with. So it was really hard to push that to the side. But all of that is a Kairos moment. So it's like, okay, am I going to push it to the side? And am I going to minister and give exactly what God has given me? Or am I going to um, wallow and sit where I am and not move because I don't want to do it? I'm not, I'm not equipped to do it. I'm not called to do it. I'm not good enough to do it. What direction do I take? That, that was the Kairos moment. Man, our mind. What's up, y'all? What's going on? My name is Armand, and if you don't know me, hopefully by the end of the set, you will get to know who I am and what I represent and who I represent, you feel me? So today I'm going to introduce you to a concept called Kairos, okay? Got that, Kairos? We're going to keep that in our head? But first, I'm going to get y'all to rock with me first. I got to get y'all the, 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 the orange juice first, so put the medicine in, you feel me? Ready to go? So I pray that I don't slip on this stuff. Lord, that works. Let's go! Hey! One time, hey, hey, one time, yeah, 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 one time, check it out, hey, hey, the Genesis, the Genesis, the Genesis, the Genesis, Revelation, 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 check it out, yo, I swear this is the first time I wrote something in months. Feels like all the latest trends I've been studying in my fears Finding out why I'm here Gotta be more than this music Or a funky little movement Full of pride that suits it Full of I is useless Full of my conclusions Full of my illusions My excuses They say experience is the best teacher Life's revealed that's a lie And the best kept secret Time doesn't heal all wounds that's pitiful All time does the scars is help you live with them I've been sitting here with this bloody knife in my wrist Playing an edge sketch Hoping the devil's test is a myth Had to stretch in my limbs Ironically, I'm ticklish But my God's familiar with predicaments I'm dealing with Hey, from the start to the finish Hey, make hot from what was gone Just, just yeah. From the beginning to the ending, it must be revealed before we can revolt. See the genesis. The what? The genesis. The what? The genesis. The what? The genesis. The what? The genesis. Sing it. Revelation. Revelation. Uh -huh. Revelation. Hold up. Shorty asks why I'm talking about this on stage. We had a little I had a Kairos moment on stage. What happened was, was like, Maybe four bars in the Genesis Revelation. The beat just cut off. My DJ wasn't there to move. And it just shut down. The whole cookie operation just shut down. And it was a Kairos moment. Do I stop? Do I need the beat to necessarily, you know, rap it in medicine and all that good stuff? I just kept going. And fortunately, the crowd felt it. You know, they were really able to hear what Genesis Revelation was and all that good stuff, man. So it was, it was dope, man. It was really, really dope. I'm glad. Thank for the opportunity. I'm tired of my shape. <laughs> That's another Kairos moment. I get my cardio up. But yeah, man, it was, it was good. It was really good.